Fit in 10 Nation, it is day 58, and I sent your macros to you this morning. Macros and your intervals change, your heart rate to the same. Uh, your macros probably change, they change for most people. Not for every person, but most people, they changed. So uh, make sure you take a look at those. Also, make sure you hit the big word here in your email. There's a big word that says here. You're going to click on that here. You're going to enter in your feedback to me, okay? Your daily feedback that you're supposed to do, that everybody's supposed to do every seven days, right? So you're going to do that for me as well, okay? Make sure you fill it out with some effort, okay? With some thought. All right. Um, calendar for scans. I'll be putting that up uh, shortly. We're gonna run the scans April 6th and 7th. Is April 6th and 7th, is that right? Let me see here, April 6th and 7th, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be the week after the, the final week, right? Because the challenge ends on the, what is it? The 2nd of April, right? Officially speaking, it ends on the 2nd of April. We'll run the scans on the 6th and 7th. So that'll be after the long weekend, okay? A lot of people have been asking me about that. So, all right, more questions. Let's let's get to it. More questions here uh, or comments. So, name something specific you can improve upon for the following week. I plan on starting all weight-based workouts with heavier weight. Finally, uh, I don't really understand. I don't really understand because this person's been doing heavier weights. So I plan on starting all weight-based workouts with heavier weight. Um, I don't know. You have been doing heavier weights. We've made you do heavier weights. I'm not sure what you mean. Name something specific you need help with. I feel shaky with straight leg movements. My knees are not naturally hyperextended, so they feel very wobbly. I'm not sure what straight should feel like. Okay, so you, when you're straight, you're not hyperextended. So what you do is take your knee to hyperextension. So for example, let's say we're doing a stiff-legged deadlift. What you do is you take your knee to hyperextension and then you unhyperextension it, okay? That's where it's going to be, okay? Just before hyperextension. Okay, so basically what does it mean is it just means there's going to be an ever so slight bend in the knee, okay? Is there anything you would like me to cover in this week's video series? Measuring grains raw versus cooked. Yeah, example, one cup. One cup or gram equivalent raw is one per one portion most things. Does that equal half cup cooked? Uh, you know, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'm not sure. I mean, I could quickly take a look here. Let's take a quick look. I'll, I'll do this with rice, okay? So let's just take a quick look. But I don't know if this is gonna be the same with uh, with all grains, okay? Um, so let's see here. Cooked, cooked, rice versus uncooked. Let's do weight, because this, be this will be more specific. Uh, one cup rice uncooked equals about seven ounces. Okay, that's still uncooked. Um, which equals to, well here, we'll serve five, one pound, okay, so what? One cup rice uncooked equals seven ounces. 200 grams, which goes to, which equals 600 grams. 21 ounces in weight. So three times the amount. It looks like it's three times the amount. That's what I'm reading here. That seems about right, I would think, but I haven't, I mean, I haven't tested it to see. Um, normally I cook two cups of rice and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'll just weigh it and then weigh it again. I have never done that. You know, you would think I'd have done that, but I've, I've never done it. Um, I always just weigh out my grains, which is generally cooked, which is generally um, cooked rice. But, you know, I have done uh, quinoa before. Um, let's see how this person, there's a question here online. I don't know where this comes from. Well, it comes from mytutor.com. Uh, 
uncooked.co.uk. So again, we don't know if this is 100% accurate. How much does 60 grams of uncooked rice weigh when cooked? This person says 145 grams. So that's about three and a half times, right? So we got three here, we got three and a half times here. Um, if Katie has 100 grams of brown rice, how much will it weigh when cooked? I don't know, Katie, how much will it be? Uh, let's see, what does 40 grams uncooked rice weigh when cooked? Let's take a look at this one. This one says 80 grams. That seems a bit low, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm going to test it, and I'll get back to you, and I'll let you know, okay? Or you can test it and see. Just weigh the rice out beforehand, cook it, and then weigh it all out afterwards, okay? Of course, let it, let it uh, cool down, though, of course. Okay, so let all of the moisture sort of evaporate, or whatever moisture will uh, evaporate. Let it just sort of cool down, and then weigh it, okay? Yeah, I, sorry, I don't have an answer for you. You'd think I would know that, but I don't actually know. Additional comments or questions. I am I am almost always hungry. I plan and space my food out as evenly as possible. Yeah, so listen, some of you might be getting hungry right now, especially those of you who have been really good with your diet. Why do I say that? Because every day you've been making, you've been digging, every day you've been digging a little bit. So in the beginning, it's like I'm digging a little bit. You're not going to feel it. But it adds up over time, right? And this is, this is why I always preach consistency to you. So if you've been one of those people that have been doing this, like, you know, basically perfectly every day, you're going to start, you should definitely by now feel, be feeling hungry, okay? Because you're now in that, in that uh, 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 basically cumulative uh, deficit. So totally normal. And just think of this as a good thing. You're burning fat. You are burning fat. Um, okay, name something specific you can improve on for the following week. I want to drink at least 64 ounces of water per day. 64 ounces of water is, uh, okay, two liters per day this week by keeping track of how much water intake with my fitness pal. Okay. Um, usually I'll try to recommend a cup between, you know, like if you're not, if you have a really hard time drinking water, you know, just go with a cup between each meal. I do two liters first thing in the morning. I know I'm a little bit extreme on everything I do. I do two liters first thing in the morning. You probably know by now, apple cider vinegar, lime juice, and about a teaspoon of salt. Uh, how are we doing for time here? Okay, almost eight minutes. Okay, let's get the message of the day. And this is never too late to say this. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, you or I am going to make it. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I am going to make it. I am going to make it. One day at a time, every day at a time. Obviously, taking a step in the right direction, right? We're not going backwards, right? Steps forwards and steps backwards can get very frustrating, okay? And again, this is one reason why we want to be measured and methodical with everything we do. Measured and methodical with everything we do. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. You've got 12 days to go. Hopefully you will continue this to at least a moderate level after the challenge. This has been completed. Positive energy, positive vibes. Believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude. I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.